Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see one of the mentoring session of one of my students. So his name is Shivaji Shinde. Uh, currently, his age is 27 and he's from Maharashtra. And he has completed his B.Tech in the year 2020. And also he has completed his master's uh, in the year 2024. So after his engineering, after 2020, what he did is he was preparing for the government exam since 2021. And uh, in 2024, he has finished his uh, MTEC also, MTEC in uh, Structure Engineering. So he doesn't have any work experience. So we'll try to understand what is the problem that he is facing right now. So what are the challenges in front of him? So he has got a job as a site engineer with 25K salary uh, in a waste, uh, in a water treatment plant where you have this pipe distribution and all. So his first question is that whether he should join that or not. That is the first question that he asked me. Second is that, he has a plan of starting his own consultancy in future. Since he has master's in structure engineering, so he can start his own consultancy after some time. So he, the second challenge that he has in front of him is uh, that he wants to start his own consultancy. How should he approach that? The third one is that, should he join any structural engineer jobs? The reason why he asked this question is that already he has a job which, which they are going to pay him 25 25,000 salary per month, but that is not related to structure designing since he has an MTech in structures. But that is that job is into the execution part where you are going to do the uh, this thing. What is that? Water tank construction, uh, water treatment plant. It's more into the side job, right? So he is asking me whether he should join this particular job or not, and keeping future uh, that consultancy point of view, whether this is the right job that he can join or not. So that is a question what he asked. So the solution what I have given from my side is that so right now his age is twenty seven, so. Since his age is 27, he doesn't have any source of income now. And 25 is not a bad salary to start with. So that is why what I told him, initially let him join this particular job. So that at least he'll have a source of income coming, right? Even though it's not related to his field, but it's okay for us. Money is important right now at the age of 27. So I told him to start with this particular job. Okay. So once he's going to start with this particular job, he's going to earn some money. And next two challenges, what he has is he has to start his own consultancy. And then he also asked me whether he should drop this particular job and look for structure engineer job. So structure engineer job is not that easy to get. Even though you have MTech in structure, your fundamentals in structure analysis, strength of materials, RCC, DRCC subject should be good. Then you should have a good command on software like ETAPS and StatPro. Only learning software will not help him. So again, that will take a lot of time. He will require at least two to three months of training so that I can train him and then he has to look for a job. So instead of that, let him join this particular job. The next thing what I told is, him is that every month he's going to earn 25K salary. Let him save at least three to 4,000 per month. I have a certain courses where I'm going to teach him the site execution, estimation, drawing, reading and all. So that his fundamental knowledge, what is required, he's going to acquire from there, right? After that, I have a course on ETAB, STAD Pro, SAFE. So let him enroll in that course after some time so that he'll be able to design at least G plus one, G plus two and G plus three buildings, right? So this has to go step by step. So that is the plan what I've given him. So I told him to enroll in my uh, complete consultancy setup course to learn the execution, architectural planning and structure designing. The reason why I told him, why I told him, him is that whenever you want to start your own consultancy, there are three things which you need to focus on. First is you should know how to prepare the plans and all according to the Vastu. You should know if this much is the area, what should be the size of the bedroom and all. So that is the first thing which, he, which you need to understand. Once you know to prepare the plan, the second is you should know the structural designing. Since he has MTech in structures, he should know the designing also, which we don't, which is not taught in any engineering and uh, even in the MTech colleges. For that, he should be good in uh, uh, ETAB, STAD Pro software. And he should have basic understanding, like if you're constructing a G plus one or a G plus two building, what should be the column size? What should be the beam size? Those things will be taught in my course. So that is the second thing. Third is he should have a knowledge about the execution also. Like suppose if somebody comes and tell him, like this is a plan what I have, this is a structure details I have, can you help me with the construction? Then you should know how to do the center line marking. You should know how to do the estimation of that. You should know each and every sequence of construction. But unfortunately, the job what is joining here he is not going to learn from this job because water treatment job is completely different from the building execution. Got it. So that is the reason what I told him. You go step by step. Currently get into this particular job. And after that, you enroll in my course. And after gaining three to four months of experience from this particular job, let him leave that job. Okay. Because there is no point in continuing the present job because 
water treatment is not going to help him to start his own consultancy. So what I told him is, you work there for three to four months. And meanwhile, you'll, he'll be enrolling in my course so that he get a better knowledge. And after that, let him switch to a different job or let him work under a consultant who does the house planning, the design, the execution and all. And if you work there for at least two to three years, definitely is going to get a knowledge from his present job. From my courses, his knowledge is also going to improve. And then after two to three years, he can leave that job and start his own consultancy. Right. So this is the solution that I've given to him. So you always, whenever you want to start something, first you need to understand what all the things are required for you to start or get into that particular field. So in this case, since he want to start his own consultancy, so this is a uh, complete game plan what I've given. Or uh, also, you see, I, I could have suggested me one more thing that uh, don't start with this particular job. Wait for another two to three months and directly look for a structural engineer job. Then another two to three months is going to waste and all. So and also, since the salary is 25, I told him to get into that job. Suppose if the salary was around, let us say, 12K or 15K, around 12K or 15K, I would not have suggested him because 12K, 50K, 15K job for an MTech graduate is peanuts. Ha, even 25 is not a big salary, but at least with 25, something can be done. So that is the reason I told him uh, to get into this particular job. Let him work there for three to four months. And in that three to four months, he is going to enroll in my course so that his basics and the fundamental will be good. And then we can go step by step. So he requires only three things. That is, he should know the execution part. He should know how to prepare the drawings and he should know structure designing. These are the only things which he should learn. Apart from that, he he doesn't, he, he don't want to learn uh, MS Project, Primavera, 3ds Max. All these courses are not at all required for him. Okay, fine. So I'll show you the course uh, which I have suggested him so that in case if you people are interested to learn all these things, you're always welcome. So before that, I'll show you a few of the reviews what students have given and then I'll show you the this part. So you can see here one of my students, he got a job in Saudi Arabia. Then one of my students, uh, okay, he, he took my course and through that he was able to do the site execution on the site. Uh, apart from that, you can say 100% will do it. I brought a lot of courses from you. The course is very helpful in uh, whether you are fresher or experienced. Okay. And I want to thank you for your valuable lectures and videos, which have been really helpful to me in my civil area. I've gained more, more knowledge from you than my college because of the way you instruct us. You can't find this kind of teaching. So you can go through all the, you know, reviews what student has given. So he's one of my student uh, who is working in DRDO. So our site engineers from the contractor side need this course. I have suggested them. After attending your six month construction manager mastery course, even the layman will become a professional civil engineer. So one of my students got job in Dubai also. So like this, you can get thousands of reviews where students have enrolled in my course and they have got a good knowledge and all. Okay. Yeah, you can see all these things. Uh, hi, Akshay sir, I recently purchased your course and the course is too, too, too informative. Okay. The courses provide a great knowledge. I got selected as a site engineer in the Soba construction company. Is getting a salary of 25K then. Okay, I have seven years of experience in the construction field. I have seen so many people, but there are rarely some people who give genuine, genuine advices. So these are the kind of, you know, reviews what my students have given in my uh, Civil Brains app. And you can see the same things on the Udemy also. Yeah, fine. Look, this is, he is one of my students who has around four years of experience working in Tata project. He has given this particular review. Almost it's a two-year-old uh, review, what I'm showing you. Basic knowledge on how site execution is done practically, explained in a detailed manner. So you can see all the reviews and all. So that is the quality of the content that I'm going to teach you. Yeah. Now I'll show you uh, uh, what all things my student is going to learn once he's going to enroll in my course. Yeah. So this is the course what I've suggested. See, I have a different course. I have a course for 10,000 also, but I did not suggest him this particular course. The course which I've suggested him is only this particular course. So that in this particular course, he is going to learn the complete site execution. I'll show you each and everything. So that you get an understanding because the reason why I'm telling is many students enroll in a lot of combo courses where they teach you 30, 40, 50 courses and end of the day, you are not, you are not going to learn anything. So that is the reason whichever field you want, you decide and based on that you enroll in the courses. So in this particular course, I'm going to teach him the, uh, if I select on the English language. So here we have level one, level two and level three. So in the level one, he'll be able to learn the complete site execution where I'm going to teach him the complete site execution part right from the center line marking. You can see it here, right from the center line marking. We'll be starting each and everything site clearance, how it has to be done. Everything will be taught practically from the site. So if you see here, if I click on one of the video, you can see all these things. So even if, even if you go to offline also, you'll not get that much clarity. And those things I'm going to teach you completely from 
online only and each and everything will be thought practically from the side how it has to be done and all okay so once he enrolls in this particular course he'll be able to understand each and everything how to do the uh, footing mesh how to place it practically on the side so each and everything we are going to teach you practically from the side you can see it here right so this is one of a g plus three uh, commercial building construction what happened so all these things you can say i'll be teaching you practically from the site how it has to be done each and everything will be taught so that you get a complete understanding about the sequence of construction so you can see there are more than 100 lectures what i've added the entire duration of the course is 60 hours here right and even uh, when you come to the slab part so this is how you learn in the slab part so you can see you know each and everything i'll be teaching you from the site uh, see, you studied about bending moment, shear force and all. How it is practically applied on the side. So this is called as your negative bending moment. You have positive bending moment. You have a negative bending moment. Based on that, what happens? Your st steel bars will be placed. So that is why we provide a crank bar at the top. So all these are the technical things which you need to understand. So once you understand all these technical things, then definitely you'll be able to do the execution on the side. But if you don't know all these things, what you feel is, okay, this is just like a bar what they have put. So you don't have that understanding. Uh, that is the reason sometimes few people will difficult to work on the site right so in this way each and everything will be covered in my course so this is the entire building what i have covered in my course right right from right from the starting uh, from the center and marking so each and everything i'll be teaching you so that you will be able to do the projects on your own so that much guarantee i usually give in my course whoever enroll in my course no that much guarantee i'm going to give so once you finish this then we'll get into the interior part in the interior part we'll try to understand the brickwork, the block work, plastering, painting. Let me show you that also. Yeah. Okay, no problem. It's here only. After that, we'll start with the brickwork, block work, plastering, painting, electrical work, plumbing work, each and everything, uh, painting work, formwork system, each and everything I'm going to teach you in this complete site execution, right? So once the site execution is done, next I'm going to teach him about the quantity estimation, how to do the quantity estimation for the building. So that will be taught in the next lecture. Yeah. yeah. So this is the next part, what he is going to learn. That is a drawing reading master. In the drawing reading, I'll be teaching him how to read the G plus three residential building drawing. Then the structure designing part is covered. G plus two residential, G plus one commercial building, hostel building. Then we'll have an assignment for how to place the column, right? Then we'll be able to understand the structure engineering concepts. Then we'll be able to understand the industrial building drawing, interior drawing, plumbing drawing. Then we'll be able to understand basement plus ground plus three story building, airport drawing, high rise building drawing. So in this way, we'll be able to understand a lot of things so that you can easily work on the site. And when you start with, with your own consultants, you know, all these things is going to help you. Like, suppose if I come to the structure designing part, you'll be, I'll be teaching you how to place the columns. Then I'll be teaching you how to decide the beam size, the column size, the slab thickness, how to do the column design, beam stir up design, one way slab design, two way slab design, and also all the basic things will be covered in my drawing reading course. So once all these things are covered, then we'll go towards the uh, the, a little bit of manual calculation, how to do the footing design, then uh, for one way shear, all these fundamentals you should be knowing whenever you're working as a structural engineer. Okay, rough foundation, basic details, pile foundation, under rim pile, way to provide under rim pile, all these things you should be knowing. So once you understand all these things, later we'll try to go to the quantity estimation part. So in the quantity estimation, I'll be teaching him to take out the quantities of the entire building where we will, where we will be able to understand how much cement sand aggregate is required, how to prepare the BOQ and all. So these things will be taught in my uh, quantity takeoff. Then there is a course on interview preparation. So where certain interview questions will be explained to him so that he can clear any interview. Once he leaves his job after working for three to four months, after leaving that particular job, if he has to face the interview, to what level the questions will be asked and all. So those things will be covered in my interview preparation course. Then there's a course on concrete technology and MS Excel. Then I have a course on billing engineer, which is not required for him. Billing engineer is not required since he'll, nev he'll never be working as a billing engineer. Okay, but uh, in the combo course that is available, that is the only extra course what I have given it here. Got it. Once he understand all these things, that is sufficient. After that, once he understand all these things, he starts to work in a different construction company. After that, he has to enroll in the ETAP course. In the ETAP course, 
i am going to teach him the g plus and residential building g plus to residential building commercial buildings so with the help of uh, etap software rcdc stad pro software we'll be able to teach him all these things how to prepare the drawings and all all these things he is going to learn from this particular course after that the last thing which he has to learn is about the planning planning see learning autocad will not help him to plan for that we'll be teaching him the vastu we'll be teaching him how to do a, how to do out the uh, site layout and all so that we are going to teach him with the help of autocad and revit and all the interior part space planning i'm going to teach him with the help of a uh, interior designing course so that is another course which he has to enroll so that is how we have divided it apart from that he doesn't require this course because this course has everything which is of no use to him here we have ms project we have prime vira we have revit billing engineer which is not going to help him to start his own consultancy got it no so that is the entire uh, game plan what i have given him so if any one of you is are, in, are really interested to uh, get a clear picture like what exactly you want to do you can always contact me uh, you have to whatsapp me don't call me this is my number you can uh, whatsapp me on this number just in case if you don't have any clarity or if you're a fresher or having one year of experience and you don't know what has to be done what field you are supposed to go uh, i'm not going to tell uh, courses all the time sometime if i feel like you in, have enough knowledge then you don't have to enroll in any course based on that i'll suggest you to whom you need to uh, connect on linkedin and all so based on that, i can give you i can guide, uh, guide you in the right direction got it so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here and download my civil brain app so there are a lot of good courses on my app uh, and definitely this course are really going to change your lot the knowledge whatever you have and the knowledge what i teach from this course definitely you'll have a wonderful knowledge and definitely you can get a very good job from your present job or if you're not having a job definitely i guarantee you that if you enroll in this courses a uh, 6 in one combo or construction manager mastery and i have written it here you are going to secure a job in the next 3 months uh, provided you should have that level of dedication and definitely you are going to land a job anywhere once you enroll in this courses so i'll see you back in the next lecture thank you